I'll call the elevator. He knew the risks involved. Command, this is Echo. We're outside the bunker. No chlorine weapons. Again, no bombs. Problem here. Echo, we're inbound for extraction. We're coming to get you, so sit tight. Effect? Have you lost your mind? Be advised, Eagle. Bunker is hot. Hazmat team's on. Copy that. We are equipped. Good job, Echo. Nicely done. Colonel, one man KIA. Say again. One man KIA. Damn it! Hold your position, Echo. We're coming in. That is her fault. Her fault. Completed episode one. Tens of thousands of people gathered in the nation's capital today to protest the upcoming military draft. Congress is scheduled to vote on the implementation of the draft as early as next week. Polls show intense opposition to both the draft and the war. Uncertainty over the conflict has brought the president's ratings down to an all-time low. Our correspondent in Washington has more on the subject. on these matters. Are you serious? You'll be briefed when I decide it's necessary. But isn't this a matter of public health? When you decide it's necessary. All due respect, Colonel. What kind of answer is that? It's the only kind of answer you're gonna get. This interview is over. Pierce, come with me. There's been a security breach at Detachment 3, Air Force Flight Test Center, perpetrators unknown. Important material in that base, vital to national security. Officially, the base has been closed for years. Unclear why these insurgents, excuse me, these individuals would know anything to the contrary. This operation could go any number of ways. First scenario, we send your unit straight into the base for a surgical strike. Second scenario, we launch a full-scale assault. 
Of course, the Pentagon is evaluating more drastic maneuvers. We're keeping all options open. We've ordered all civilians within 100 miles to report to base camp. Now, most have complied, but you've always got a few malcontents who want to ride the storm out. Fourth Infantry entered the town of Rachel, Nevada for final sweeps at 1400. We lost radio contact with them 30 minutes ago. I want you and your men to go to Rachel, reconvene with Fourth, assess the situation, and report back to me directly with your findings. Corporals Ambrose and Grayson have already reported for duty. Sounds Find good. Them outside. Listen, here. I never had a chance to express my condolences about Summers. He was a damn good soldier. It's never easy to lose someone. I'll be right there. Good luck out there, Pierce. We're counting on you. Dismiss. Hey, Pierce! It's been a while, dog. Come on, time to prep up. How'd you like Colonel Green's briefing? Blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. Yeah, whatever. Just give me a gun. My rack. It's been two years and the chick's still sticking needles at people. And guess what? Captain Pierce is here. Come on. Infirmary. I've been waiting for you. Come over here. They can hear us. I have you. to be quick. Give I me your like arm. You. Colonel Green is an idiot. Either that or he's delusional. He has no idea what's happening out there. Remember Iraq? That's why you're here. Why we're both here. You're being sent in without any... Look. Don't touch anything in Rachel. And keep your skin covered. If you start feeling strange, come and see me. Understand? Dr. Weiss, the atmospheric readings just came in. We're registering a mole count 7,000 times higher than normal. You mean 700? No, ma'am. I double checked. Bring me a sample. Put on a face mask. Yes, ma'am. like this all day. It's hurricane season in Nevada? Global warming. Yeah. Let's go find out what's going down in Rachel. <laughs> hey, when this is done, let's go to Vegas. Make some money, watch a game at Caesars, get Ambrose laid, man. Homeboy needs it. <laughs> <laughs> 